Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to the review of the quarterfinals of the Copa America, where at least I saw some highlights in there. And yeah, I am wearing Argentina. Messi is once the closer to maybe his first final senior, no, first national senior title. That's the way I should say it. However, as we will see, there is a big stumbling block probably on his way. I'm still here with a few guest teams. Fourth of July, I'm a record recording this, so I think the Americans make sense here. There's an Australian in there, but I have good news. There are three South American jerseys coming, two of which will probably arrive uh, in such a fashion next week that I decided to hold off the jersey review already for that, and you'll get it in the run up to the final that I'll do uh, the uh, Copa America jersey review. But I really, really want to do it. I have everything prepared. But I actually want to do it in such a way that I can give you a lot of different, uh, more South American background and not have some guest teams in here as well. So that is kind of exciting. I have to say, uh, exciting is also how I would describe at least one quarterfinal in there, which was the maybe the closest one between Peru and Paraguay, at least from my rate, ra rating. That, was, that must have been a real, real fun game. Just watching the highlights was exhausting. In many ways, uh, we had a struggling Brazil side. We had a, a completely boring game between Uruguay and Colombia, the one that everyone hyped as a, a brilliant game. No, it was not everything but brilliant, that one. And then our Argentina maybe looked like a little bit more work than it needed to be, but they get the job done. And so we have a quarterfinal where we have actually, when you saw the predictions, uh, <laughs> for the, uh, the projects, there were three uh, teams from Group A and only one from Group B, Brazil. Well, turned away, turned around the complete opposite way. We have now three from Group B and only one from Group A uh, moving in. I, I would say briefly, talking about uh, the quad qualifiers. I mean, as I say, Peru, Paraguay, that was the game of the round that I know I checked the score after the Italy game. I already saw that Peru is up 2-1 at the halftime, but it was just so, uh, so, so late that, I, okay, no, we're not going to follow that a little, uh, even more because I I have actually, sure maybe there was a way for me to watch, the, uh, to, to, to watch it, but uh, in that case, I didn't. Um, it was a back and forth game. Actually, the jer jer jersey matchup here in the graphic looks a whole worse than it was in reality because the Paraguay jerseys are red on the back end with blue pants. Against the all white of Peru, it actually looked really, really interesting and nice in many ways. Um, my favorite feature of the Copa America, although I don't want to see this instituted at the Euros and so on, is um, after 90 minutes it goes straight to penalties. Uh, which makes, I think, a whole lot, a lot of sense because there's a lot of travel, you don't want to tire out the players. And maybe considering uh, the two Swiss overtimes that, that we saw at the Euros, maybe it's not a bad idea to ask the um, <laughs> players, do you want to play overtime or shall we go straight for penalties? I think we could institute it. And for that reason, also to show the graphics to distinguish between the first and the second, the second and first half has red numbers, second half has blue numbers. Okay. Having talking about it. Uh, it was an exciting game. Uh, Peru is probably the most, in a way, the, uh, the most fun team to watch uh, in South America at the moment because they play so open and it's a real joy to see them. They find themselves down through Gomez, who had, uh, that was the Gomez first half. I mean, you see him all over the place. Then he scores an own goal, although La Padula was in there. La Padula actually was surprised that he's, he's Peruvian. He gives Peru the lead in the 40th. Then Gomez gets two yellow, yellow cards within six minutes. is sent off with a yellow-red. Um, however, even being a man down, Alonso can equalize for pa Paraguay. Yotun, late in the 80th, gives Peru a lead again, where you think, yeah, now Peru is through. No, they're not. Yellow-red for them as well, through Carrillo, and then Avala. Alos gets uh, an equalizer for Paraguay and goes to penalties. And that was not a pretty penalty shoot if, if you like uh, high quality penalties. No, first four were all converted, but then the misses start, uh, started. And I have, have to say, with um, Peru being up 3 2, then you make it 3, then Pires de Mota makes it 3 3. And Cueva can win it, and he doesn't. That's actually not a good, a good sign, but fortunately for Peru, Espinola Mix and Tarabko can send them to the uh, semi-final. The second one, uh, 
second or even third one in a row. And I know they they made it a few a few times that far. Um, I have to say, Peru at the um, Coca America is performing oh, quite well. Uh, Brazil against Chile was hard work. I mean, the goal uh, by Paqueta, the way Neymar and Paqueta played that one. I mean, first, I think pa Paqueta with a one touch pass, and Neymar with a back heel into his way dance a little bit, and Paqueta can, who just can't come on, can um, uh, get the, uh, the goal. And at that moment, you thought Brazil had found Father Breakthrough, but then Gabriel Jesus, I mean, what a kung fu kick that was uh, to out of nowhere. Then Chile thought they had the, uh, the E equals through Vargas was called for offset. They once hit the bar. It was a really tough work for Brazil to get through. But, you know, maybe those are the important wins. But in, in the end, Brazil makes it around further. Uh, as I said, Uruguay against Colombia was a rather dull affair. Spanish referee, you know, there's the Argentinian one, uh, Rapali. Rapalini in uh, at Russo with a Spanish re referee the Cock of America. Um, yeah, I think Colombia had here and there some chances and was probably the more uh, active team, but in the end it ends in a nil-nil and it goes straight to a panel shoot where Colombia converts all of them. Jimenez and Vinia miss for Uruguay. It's a 4-2. Uh, win on penalties for Colombia, so they are also further. And then, as it are, Argentina Messi had a big chance where he hit the post. Uh, then he assisted Paul in the 40th to give Argentina the lead. Um, again, jersey matchup looks uh, funnier here than it was uh, in, real in reality because uh, the, the back of the Ecuador jersey is, is yellow, so there's way more yellow than uh, it looks like here. Later on, Argentina put the game away with Martinez, Rattaro, Martinez after Messi assist and then Messi himself getting his fourth goal and being on top of the goal scoring charts. So with all that, we have now in the bracket the following seven files. We have Argentina against Colombia. Interesting game for sure. And then uh, a replay of the last Copa final between Brazil and Peru. Also, not that uninteresting and maybe Peru will want to make up for uh, the big loss that they had to start this tournament when they lost 4-0 to Brazil. Still we have an Argentina-Brazil final projected. If we look at the chances of winning, uh, we have at the moment Brazil at almost 50%, Argentina 32 Peru and Colombia only outside chances. But you know, maybe, maybe, just maybe something will happen. When will those be played? Uh, they will, of course, be played. Um, on Tuesday and on Wednesday uh, at night, so they, they come relatively soon. Uh, Brazil will play uh, Peru first and then Argentina against Colombia. Final and third place game will be, um, you know, Friday, Saturday. It is. With all this time, you see, it's all your European times that I'm proposing. Check your local listings uh, if you can watch it, because uh, with so many time zones in, in, in Brazil, you're easily confused. So, yeah. It still seems like a Messi v Neymar final, which I think will be super exciting. That would be one that I would definitely want to see. I have to see. I don't like the kick of time, so maybe I can watch it uh, early. I, I, I really have to see if there's some way that I can actually watch this. Otherwise, I'm again with 10 minute highlights uh, in either Portuguese or Spanish, which makes me very excited because I have big knowledge of both languages. Hey. So be it. In any case, let me know what you thought about the Copa. Who do you think will be the winner there? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more. The next video will be then Jersey Review on the Copa. And then we'll finish it up with uh, the final two games. And maybe a little bit of a uh, final thought on it as well. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you're updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!